Hello everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Today is just a quick DIY to show you how I created my DIY canisters for my bathroom. I wanted canisters and I wanted a jewelry holder and I combined the two with just this simple idea. Let's go ahead and go to work. Okay guys, let's get straight to the point. These are three of the items that my husband and I share in our bathroom. And we don't like a lot of stuff on top of the bathroom counter. Next issue, if I remove my ring and lay it on the bathroom counter and I don't have my glasses on, I can't see it and I've not been in the trash can before. Another solution was to add this cute little dish from the Dollar Tree. Now I can see it, but now look what I have. Now this smaller vase on the left is from the Dollar Tree and the larger one is from Dollar General for $4. Now these terracotta saucers are going to be my lids for my canisters and they are from Lowe's. The smaller ones were around about $1. The larger one I want to say was about maybe $1.50, 70 somewhere around there. I lost my receipt. So the three of them might cost you around $4. I would recommend that you take your vases with you to Lowe's then you're sure to get the right size saucer. And these three lamp finials I got for $2.39 each from Hobby Lobby. And of course, my second love, spray paint, and then you have your Gorilla Glue. Protect the bottom of your finial with tape. You're going to need to apply glue there, so you don't want to have too much paint in that area. That was Stolian spray paint. It's just awesome on those finial. It only took like one coat, guys. Now, I also placed a small piece of tape on the saucer because that's the area I don't want any white spray paint to get into. Again, we're going to put glue there. Now, I put multiple coats out there, so I allowed the bottom about six hours to dry and the top I let dry overnight. Remove the tape from the top immediately after you finish painting. I applied three drops of the Gorilla Glue to the bottom of the finial, and yes, you can apply it to the saucer. Now, it is recommended that you allow 24 hours for this glue to cure. So, my paint is still wet on the top of the saucer, but I carefully applied pressure to the finial when I placed it on top of the saucer. That way, the paint as well as the glue are going to dry overnight, basically 24 hours. Now after the paint was applied, I noticed one of my lids fit a little too snug inside of the vase. So what I did was take a candle and just buff around the edge of that lid. This is the same technique that I would use on a piece of furniture and the drawers were sticking, sliding in and out. Oh, aren't they adorable? I could not resist adding these two candlesticks that were once silver that I got from Goodwill about two years ago for $5. And I put them on the bottom and look, voila, I love it. And now when I step into the tub and I forget that I'm wearing my earrings, I've got a safe place to put them. Now I chose white and gold because, well, obviously I have a theme in my bathroom and I am loving how it's coming together on a budget. This picture was from Hobby Lobby for 10 bucks on clearance. Well, that's it for me guys. My vision may not be 2020, but guess what? I can find my jewelry on top of these beautiful white saucers. Yay! Thanks a lot for watching and if you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. You never know what necessity will cause me to invent around this house. Remember, stay in prayer and stay creative.